and welcome back to Melissa's Magical Menagerie. This is Hardcore Du, take two, episode eight. Today, we're gonna find out what this tree is for. And so you can see this amethyst crystal geode here growing from the ground into the tree. This geode is the source of all the power and protection offered by this tree. In we go, hello fellas. So here we are in our cleric's office. They're down here in the magical portion of this tree learning, educating themselves, using their magic. And so what do you think, boys? Should we go ahead and see the rest of the episode? Very good. I'm putting in a workstation with smooth stone and the job blocks, which are smokers, a hook to hang meat from, blood splatters, always necessary beds, and chimneys. Let's decorate, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So first, first of all, we're gonna need to put this here. Another chimney. Boop, boop. Better. We will put this here. Boop. Beautiful pot with the flowers. Boop. Pretty. Then we will put, let's see, some storage here. I just feel like that gives a nice little bit of color. And art for the wall. I don't know what that is, but I like it. It's time to tour the completed butcher shop. Let's go. Okay, we're going in at night because hopefully these fellas are sleeping. Yes, they are. So you saw most of this in the video. The only way that these can work is without the chimneys into the top. And I decided to go with function over the look of it. And now off to the Fletchers. Fletcher. Hmm. A very fancy floor for a Fletcher, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So I tore that out and made a pattern floor out of stripped oak logs. To make sure that pattern looks good as a ceiling, and it does. And now transferring the torn out floor to the ceiling or the floor of the next building up. I'll construct a built-in here. and how it looks completed. Come on. For its adorable new homeowner. Come on, you're doing real good. Yeah, get on in there. Good job. Uh, oh, good job. Let's tour the completed Fletchers. And again, they're sleeping. This is a pretty plain, cute little, little house here um, with our chickens. And now to the cartographers. Make a fancy domed roof out of deep slate tiles. Add storage and a workstation. And maps on display, of course. Let's find out how the cartographer's home turned out. It's very busy and, and piled high with all of the things they found in their travels, including the first map of the tree and village, which I will expand. I'm just curious. I'm curious. Let's do it while we got it. Cute. Ha ha, so now there's some updates that you'll see coming. You can't really see what they are at the moment, uh, but we will expand that. And now to find the librarians. I'm ready to build my first of the librarian houses up here in the treetops. And I have all of my goodies collected here to get started. So first to complete the path out to where the door to the house will be, placing down jungle wood flooring. and adding some decorative supports underneath. I'm making the walls out of white terracotta and end bricks. I love the soft, almost feminine look of the jungle wood with the white concrete and the end stone. It's so pretty. Now that she is done, we will decorate inside. 
think I would like to cover these in, which I'm not going to have enough of. I didn't show the roof in the replay mod, but it's made out of quartz and chiseled quartz. The librarian's favorite accessories, bookshelves. Trying to make them look a little bit fancier. Storage again. And art again. All right, let's visit this first library. Hi, hey guys. It's cute. It's functional. I like it. I enjoy. It does look cute when I look at it from back. So that's where my mending and silk touch librarians are, and it looks so cute hanging out of the side of the tree. While finishing up here in the trees, I realized that it got pretty dark, which is what leads us to our next series, because I really needed a shroom light. Do you got any shroom light? It doesn't look like you got any shroom lights. Which means I gotta go and get a freaking shroom light. This could be deadly or not. We'll find out. I could hear the wither skeleton and wanted to take care of him first. Come on, brave monkeys. Woo! No, Melissa, watch what you're doing! Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank god. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot! Come here! Lord. Hi, I had this here for like one shroom light. Pardon me. Like legit. This is all I need. Cool. Alright, bye. Use the totem of undying for one shroom light. Time to move some librarians into the houses. Let's see if we can get this man up and into the tree. Hopefully, if I do this, maybe I can catch him in there. Yay! Okay. Sir, we're gonna hope for the best for you. Goodbye. Oh, let me, um, Get the tracks out of the Goodbye. way and replace this door in case the villagers wake up. I don't want them escaping. Uh, I gotta get these guys back in, in track here. They'll be fine for now. Hey, you're in your house, homie! Cool. Uh, put this down. So that he can't escape. Uh, put this down. Okay. Off to bed. Oh, look at him. Good boy. Bye. Good luck. In you go. In you go. Keep it going. Keep going in. Aww. You're doing great. Keep it going. There are children. Oh, jeez. Hello. Okay. More children. Well, my butchers appear to have grown up overnight. So now everybody is in their house that's been built. I just need to go and do the underground stuff. I moved this stuff around just a little bit. Let's go trade with our butchers. Hi, fellas. I'm hoping to trade them up to the dry kelp block tree. All right. Oh, you do cook pork chops, which seems easier. Now what you got? We'll keep working on that. Hi there from the nether. Hello. 
So, I have had a problem where I had no available disk space and didn't realize it and continued taping videos, which all got corrupted. Yay, so there are two videos lost. And because I recorded this more than a month ago, I have no idea how I ended up back here in the nether. Why I decided all of a sudden I wanted to get nether skelly skulls. No idea, because several hours of video are missing. I'm in danger again. Bye! Hopefully I have cleared enough disk space now. The only yeah, thing I can think is that using that totem must have angered me enough that I had to come back and seek my revenge on these wither skellies. Keep my eye on that one. Still watching you. I would continue to kick many, many butts here, but I was unsuccessful in finding a skull. Yeah, come on, Phil. Wanna fight? Let's fight. By fight, I mean, you wanna stand on the other side of a wall and let me kick your butt, because that I enjoy. All right, I'm out. Back to the tree! Huh. Don't worry, time to move more villagers. I knew I needed to move this guy out of the way so I could send another villager up right behind him. Then this happened. No! Once I got him back up, I was smart enough to remove this rail and nudge, nudge, nudge him into place. With the villagers moved, I was able to take down this rail system. Time for the tour. Up to our next librarian's house, which is fire protection, unbreaking, feather falling. Hello, a little bit smaller, same style. Hello, boys. Very cute. Again, looks cute from kind of up in the tree where it's hanging out of. You can see this one from up here too. Thank you for joining me to see the inside of this great tree today. We've seen all the houses and shops that have been built as well as all the villagers in place to make trading easier. Next time we'll move underground. We need a home for our armors and weaponsmiths. Thanks again for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. Bye. Hello, villager tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God.